everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making cob loaf with a spinach and French onion dip. We're going back to, I don't know, the 70s, the 80s, where this was really, really popular, but it has had a resurgence here where people are making cob loaf with just about anything. I saw a hot chocolate one, I've sort of nachos and cheese dip one. It is where you use the cob loaf, which is the bread, to serve your dip. So it is delicious, it's really cheap, it's really easy, great for taking to parties, or great for um, having when you've got guests coming over. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple one of these and let's get started. The first thing we're gonna get started with is preparing our cob. So I've just, purchased a cob from Woolworths, it was $2.50 and this is kind of going to be the bread bowl um, for this for our cob loaf dip. This is great for taking to parties, it's really cheap to make which is fantastic if you're going to a party and it's super impressive. People love cob loaf so if you want a people pleaser that's cheap and easy I would go with this. So I've just got a paring knife I am going to cut a hole in the top of my cob loaf. Now you want to be careful not to hit the bottom because we are going to use all of this, this bread. So I'm just going to lift out. Now it doesn't matter if you tear the bread underneath because we're going to pull all that out. So here is my uh, top or my lid I'm gonna put that on a baking tray Because we're gonna toast up this bread, so I'm putting it um, Crust side down we want to not get this nice and crusty the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start pulling out The inside of the bread you want them to be in about just bigger than bite side bite sized pieces because when we Toast them you want people to be able to grab that bread off the side of the plate and be able to dip into the dip that's going into our bread bowl so let's say about pieces like this I'm just going to put those also onto our onto our baking tin so I'm going to continue to do that until um, I have scooped out the entire bowl oh, the entire piece of bread and you want to make sure that you leave enough uh, enough of the soft bit inside the bread so you're not tearing down all the way through to the crusts otherwise it'll just become a little too soggy when you uh, when you go and put the dip in I'm making a very simple version of a cup loaf today um, it's only got well five ingredients if you include the bread But um, I know people that add tuna to this mix, bacon, uh, spring onions. I'm just making today the spinach, sour cream and spinach version. Alright, so here we have our um, scooped out cob loaf. I've got the lid and then I have all of the insides. On another tray that we're going to brown up these are going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes I want to get it nice and brown I want to get the inside of this one nice and brown so it can deal with the moisture of the dip itself and once I've done that I'll bring it back show you what it looks like and we can get started on the dip portion of this dip of this dish now let's get started with our dip portion so here I have um, some cream cheese a full block of cream cheese that I have softened I have 300 mils of uh, sour cream, half a packet of French onion soup mix, I have frozen spinach that I've thawed and drained off any extra juice. So we are just going to give this a really good mix. Now you might notice that it's a little bit liquidy at this point. It will firm up when you put it in the fridge. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to check it for salt and season 
with a little bit more salt if it needs it. Otherwise, I'm going to put this into the fridge and I'm going to let it firm up while we're waiting for our bread to come out of the oven. So I've taken my cob um, and our dunking bread out of the oven. Everything's nice and crispy and brown. Here I have my dip. So I'm just going to pour that straight into this hole. Now, if you're taking this to the to a party, I would actually wait to do this step until you get there. Um, otherwise, the bread might get a little bit soggy. So, so I would just put everything, the dip into a container, and I've made a gigantic mess. All right, so we've got our dip inside our bowl. And all you're going to do, or your, all your guests are going to do, is grab a piece of dunking bread, dip it into the dip, get a nice load of dip on their biscuit, and mm, and enjoy. So I hope you like this. I hope you make it. If you do, or if you're thinking of making it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can do that down in the description box. You'll also find all the ingredients that you need to make this recipe down in the description box as well. So I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time on Do It Frugal. Bye for now.